I didn't really want to go to that. Um, 
there's a lot been going on. Um, but tell me, I want to know. Oh, okay, so here's something that I might be able to. So, my name is Chantal, if you didn't already know that, okay? Now, it is spelt C H A N T E L. So, one E, one L, right? So, on my work emails, you know how you have the signature and you add that to the bottom of every email, it's got the spelling of my name. But I still happens every single day still happens to get emails back from whoever saying hi Chantel with completely wrong spelling so T-E-L-L-E T-A-L no 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 if please comment below like if you've got a different spelling name and people spell it wrong all the time let me know. I want to know. Or even if you've got just a different name altogether, I want to know. Um, it drives me insane. Like, it's right there. Why can't you see that? Okay, you're obviously seeing who, you know, if you're replying back to me with a high Chantel, you've obviously read my name. So why can't you spell it right? I don't know, it just annoys me. But then I'm also one of those kids that my parents have named something different spelling and now I can't get anything in my name, like a keyring or whatever. Yeah, I'm one of those kids, so help me, help. <laughs> oh, nah, it just really annoys me. Um, and it annoys me when they can't even get your name right, like when it's something completely different off the track. I'm sorry about the light, the sun's like starting to go down, so it's gonna be a little bit funny. Sorry. Ah! Um, yeah, sun goes down early now because we are um, sort of mid autumn. Yeah, mid autumn. We're in the middle of autumn, or fall, as most people call it. Um, so, yeah, bye. 30 now, 6 o'clock, it's pretty much dark, which sucks because I hate not having daylight savings. I hate winter, unless I'm snowboarding. I hate winter, it's cold. Ugh. Snowboarding is the only time I love winter. But what can you do? It happens all the time. You have no choice. Winter comes around, summer comes around. It's life. <laughs> um, anyway, well, I might talk to you guys. When I get to mum's and I'll definitely be bringing you along tomorrow to my something special I've got organised. Um, yeah, okay. So, you know how I told you that I had something exciting planned for today? Well, I can tell you what that is all about. What? Huh? I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> God. I'm getting two tattoos. I'm actually quite nervous. I don't know why, because oh. I've already got two before, so I don't know. Let's see how we go. <laughs> we'll see you in there. Okay, so I told you guys I was going to the tattoo shop, and this is what I got. So one of them is a surprise for Ben, as I think I told you yesterday. Um, in the car, um, I haven't yet told him that I've got it. He knows that I got, because I got two. He knows that I got one today. He didn't know I got the other one. Um, and he actually asked me if I was getting, you know, the one specifically for him. And I said no, it was too expensive. So I'll show you. This is what I got. I'll show you if you can see. Oh yeah, you can. A little sneaky, sneaky above my sleeve there. So that's the B for Ben. He doesn't know that I got that one. Um, but I got a giraffe as well because, you know, I love giraffes, as you know. So this is the giraffe one. This one's, so the B's on my wrist and the giraffe is on my ankle, which I'll show you.
So yeah, quite cute. Um, I was actually, um, I think I might have told you yesterday that I was stressing about being painful, which I don't know why I was doing that because I hardly felt them. I felt the outline, like the guy did the outline of the giraffe first and I kind of felt that and I'm like, oh, maybe we'll just stick with the outline. Um, and then he went ahead and coloured it in um, black and I didn't really feel that one. I don't know why I was stressing about it. I think it was because my last tattoo on my hip was really painful. Um, so I think it was maybe that might have scared me a little bit, but yeah, no, I didn't really feel them, and I was sort of, because my, um, the bee's like on the side of my wrist, not like on the flat bit of my wrist, because um, I had to sit like with my arm in a funny shape, and I was able to sort of see him do it, um, which was quite cool, but yeah, and he, went, he was like, oh yeah, you know, it's done, and I'm like, oh, okay, cool, well, I can't really feel it, but thanks. So, I'm totally amazed with them. Um, obviously, they're going to take two weeks to heal and whatever. So, the guy gave me some, like a free little tube of aftercare cream for it, which is good. Um, it, you know, the guys in there were amazing. So, um, can't wait to show Ben tomorrow when I get home. So, I might, um, I might film mm -hmm. his reaction. Mm -hmm and let you guys know as well, but he only thinks that I have the giraffe on. He doesn't know about the bee, so we'll see. We'll Why tell him. You're saying you're not the family? I'm not talking to Beck. Oh, you are. Why not talking to Beck? It's okay. Yeah. Um, yeah, um, so, can you also see my eyelashes? I, look, I got them done a couple of weeks ago. I got them done a couple of weeks ago. Actually, they're probably due to be done again soon. But I love them only because I have, you can't even see my bottom lashes. That's how bad they are. I have the blondest, shortest eyelashes ever. So I have to wear mascara every day. So having these eyelashes are amazing. I love them. So I'll have to go get some, um, I have to get, get them refilled maybe next week or the week after because yeah quite a few of them have fallen out already um yeah um so what are you guys up to this weekend let me know tell me in the comments and go for that